Kansas City, your source for news. This is Aurora News Weekly. Hello everyone, I'm Jackie Felici. And I'm Emily Rushing. Thanks for joining us. George Skip Noe was sworn in as Aurora City Manager on December 20th. And with just about six weeks under his belt here, we wanted to know how he was settling in. So we invited him on the set with us and we welcome you, Skip Noe. You prefer Skip, don't you? Please, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been in city management for 30 years. I know that you took a break in about 2008 to start a management consultant company. And now you're back in city management. How does it feel? Uh, it actually feels really good. I, I, I enjoy public service. That's what I've been doing for a long period of time. Uh, there's nothing quite like uh, getting your hands dirty in a, in a hands-on type position. This is a really great opportunity and a great community. Uh, there's so many good things happening here. There's such a great foundation for the future, so I'm having a lot of fun. And you moved here from Corpus Christi, Texas, here to Aurora, Colorado. A little bit different weather, but... <laughs> just a little, just a little. And, uh, but I've lived here before. As you know, yes. I, I spent three years in Fort Collins. I actually grew up in the Midwest, so uh, I'm really not dangerous to be around on the streets <laughs> in the snow. I know what it's like to be to have the minus uh, 20 degree temperatures. Um, the the snow is actually a lot of fun. And, and uh, as soon as our, our two dogs adjust to, uh, to having winter, I'm sure we'll be... Uh, set around the house. Absolutely. And then it'll be summer. Exactly. 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 <laughs> well, you've been trying to get out in the community, shaking hands, getting to know the people and the community itself. What's been your impression so far? Well, first of all, I really have to thank everybody. I, I've been received very warmly by folks. I've had an opportunity to go to neighborhood meetings, uh, to visit with individuals, leaders in our community, uh, folks at the uh, school district and at the, at the community college. Uh, and everyone's been very positive. Uh, it, it's great to be in a community where people believe mm -hmm. uh, in the in the value of this community the good things that are happening here uh, people love living here and they're very positive about the community's future and that's a real plus for me and and uh, uh, I thank everybody who's been so kind and gracious uh, reminding me of their names when I don't remember uh, after the first time I meet them uh, but I'm learning a lot about the community and the things that are happening here uh, the good news is after so many years in local government uh, uh, it doesn't take long to kind of catch on to what's happening, and, and I'm excited about uh, uh, getting more active in the, in the months ahead. Certainly. You were just talking about the future of the community. Talk about what 2011 holds for Aurora and its residents. Well, there's a, there are a lot of things happening in terms of the infrastructure for the community. Uh, there are opportunities, the, the expansion of the intersection there at uh, Colfax and 225. That project's underway. Uh, working on the funding for the next leg of fast tracks to go from Nine Mile to Iliff. Uh, plus, working on some of the more mundane but, but important issues like uh, dealing with the, with the budget issues, coping with the impacts of, of legislative changes on our municipality. As we all know, the state's going to go through their, their budget balancing act and that's bound to have an impact on our community, so we'll have to be grappling with those kinds of things. Uh, but also looking forward in terms of, of uh, looking at uh, opportunities for capital improvements in the future. And we've also got an election coming up this November that will change some phases on council as well. So. It will. The, the, the mayor, as we know, is, is in his last term, and there are a number of council members who will be up for re-election, so we'll have uh, uh, the opportunity to, to make some choices about our future, and, and uh, that'll mean some changes here at City Hall, but uh, that kind of change is a good thing. It adds, mm -hmm. adds fresh perspectives and, and new points of view. Very good. And something very recently, just this week, that the city is proud of is the Green Office Initiative. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's an innovative program to take and, and um, improve our efficiency and effectiveness uh, by changing how we set up our printers in City Hall and the various departments, reducing the number of devices, using uh, more powerful but less expensive devices. We're able to save uh, uh, $300,000 a year. For some of us, that means that uh, the security of that printer right next to your uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, computer is not quite there. We have to walk a little bit, but maybe we'll call it a wellness program. <laughs> there you go. Uh, economy. But it's important for us to look for opportunities to reduce our costs, to continue to provide the same quality of service at a lower cost, and be innovative mm -hmm. at the same time. That's the kind of thing we need to be doing, not just in, in, in the area of computers, but across the board. And I'm sure residents appreciate seeing that employees and the city is doing, yeah. taking those measures. Absolutely. And, yeah. and some of us won't throw ourselves in front of the folks coming to take our printers away. Certainly. <laughs> Switching gears just a little bit, the city has been working really hard in the past few years to stay connected with residents through Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and things like that. Why do you think it's important for 
uh, the cities to keep updated with social networking and social media. Well, how people communicate is changing, and, and I think we need to recognize as a municipality, as an organization, a service organization, that we have a wide variety of customers who are all familiar with different ways of getting their information. Some folks are, are busy watching this program, some folks read newspapers, some folks watch uh, traditional TV, but, but a lot of the young people are involved in connecting in different ways. Mm -hmm. Social media is a way for us to very inexpensively and very quickly uh, get our message out to a large number of folks who are important for us to reach, and that's how they communicate. Uh, my kids, my my twenty plus kids, uh, twenty plus year old <laughs> kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to, twenty plus year old kids. They're used to that cell phone, that smartphone, mm -hmm. connecting via social media. That's how they communicate with one another, and this is our opportunity to take advantage of how they're used to communicating as an effective way to reach them. Very good. And with that, you can become a fan of the City of Aurora and uh, make some comments if you'd like there. I'm so. on the list. There you go. <laughs> well, Aurora City Manager Skip Noe, thank you so much mm -hmm. and thank welcome. You. I know just six weeks on the job, but we'll look forward to speaking with you more later this year, hopefully. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.